All right, everyone, welcome back to We Play Games. Here we are in our critical technology series, and we're discussing vulcanization today. So why are we discussing vulcanization and not rubber mastication when we discussed electrical generation and we did not discuss electrical capacitors? Well, it kind of depends on the nature of the technology involved. So first of all, rubber mastication, this is something that's going to allow you to discover rubber in, in your discoverable resources pool. Um, if you ever see like, a discoverable, discoverable resource in, in some sort of uh, jungle territory, the chances are pretty good that there's probably rubber underneath there somewhere. Um, but the rubber mastication technology does not actually give you any way to spend rubber, whereas at least electrical generation offers you fences, streetlights, and sawmills. Um, so picking up rubber mastication is not really as high a priority um, until you're at the point when you can do rubber mastication into vulcanization, which requires, you know, more more commitment in terms of research. Um, but once you get there, then it starts, then rubber starts getting pretty good. Um, so the first thing that vulcanization is going to do for you is it is going to allow you to expend some rubber here in both elastics as well as in bicycle messengers for barracks. Um, bicycle messengers for barracks is, is something that you really shouldn't overlook because keep in mind that cavalry scouts, that's what you're going to start with. They have no stat bonuses. And so going up to bicycle messengers is like air quotes free in the sense that it gets you um, extra offense without really costing you much beyond rubber and tools. Um, and 20% provinces captured is amazing. Um, it will dramatically increase your speed at which you are able to push through enemies uh, if you have bicycle messengers. Um, so it's this is one of these like hidden, hidden technologies in the production tree that has um, almost more military applications than it has... Uh, uh, domestic economic applications, but elastics is a very powerful technology as well. Elastics is going, uh, uh, method of production as well. Elastics is going to allow you to, um, tweak whether or not you want to have luxury clothes or clothes coming out of your textile mills. And hopefully by the time you get down to vulcanization, you've done a good job of securing the resources that you need in order to have profitable textile mills. That is fabric, dye and silk and as long as you've secured access to all three of those in in like giant supply then your textile mills are going to be incredibly productive they're going to pay their wages really really high um, and what that means is the demand for luxury clothes by people working in the textile mills will go up because their standard of living is going to be going up because they're going to be making so much money and so in order to meet that incre increased demand adding in rubber into the uh, the textile mill is also going to be very helpful for you. Fortunately, um, despite the fact that, yeah, this, this is really more of a, a military tech and it's not even a huge one, it's just a, a like a convenience one, um, the biggest thing that vulcanization does for you is it, it is a prerequisite for two of the strongest automation techs in the game, assembly lines, as well as um, automatic bottle blowers, if you're using a lot of glassworks, this is a ridiculous amount of automation that you get out of those two technologies. Which one you'll go for will depend on, on the nature of your economy. Most of the time it's gonna be assembly lines, but given that assembly lines can just, drum, just transform overnight your nature, the nature of your um, the production methods in your, in your furniture and your tooling and your motor industries, um, vulcanization deserves a, a highlight here in the, the critical technology series based purely off of that, that requirement alone. But because it, it is also this like really fun, interesting focal point where not only is it accessing automation text, but it's also giving you a way to use rubber. It's also advancing your military. Um, I think vulcanization definitely deserves, deserves this spot here. All right, uh, that's Walker, and that's We Play Games. Um, I might do one or two more videos today, but Eileen is is off today and tomorrow, so expect expect uh, video production to be a little lighter on Sundays and Mondays. Okay, take care.